So, so that is an option strategy, which is used in sideways market. When the market consolidates, this strategy works best for options traders because this strategy has a positive theta. That means more you hold this strategy, more benefit you are going to receive. So why this strategy and what is this strategy? So this strategy is very simple, something like this. Let's say if you are feeling that the market might consolidate, it might go sideways. Okay. So let me just draw it very clearly. So let's say this is market. This is what is happening in the market. That the, There is no movement happening in the market. So let's write U, which is underlined. Now, what will happen is, although there is no trend in the underlying, but the call option, okay. So short call, I'm writing SC, that means short call. It will not be exactly how the underlying is moving. It will look something like this. Okay, if not exactly this, more or less, this is how the call option premium will look like. Similarly, if you talk about the put option, the put option will not look or it will not move the way underlying is moving. It will always have some slight slope on the downside if the market is sideways. Why is that happening? It is happening because of one element of the option premium, which is theta which is time value of money, which is decaying day by day, minute by minute, second by second. Every passing day, you hold a bought option or you hold a sold option. Some premium is going to get decayed from that option because of theta. What is theta? Nothing. How much premium is going to get killed away, going to get wiped away because of passage of time. That is called as theta. So what's happening over here? The underlying is sideways, but the theta is doing its job and it's decaying your premium similarly on the put side as well. Now, if I just want to show you all this practically, so there was very fresh example. So let's say charts, order and trade. By the way, this is the new UI. You can uh, search uh, your favorite analytics just by, uh, you know, couple of correct words. Like uh, just if I just want to search charts, I just search charts and here it is. So, you know, all the functionalities uh, which involve term chart that will pop out on my screen. So anyways, so bank nifty, let me just select nifty and let's say this ruling future. Now this is five minute chart, but more or less, if you can see what is happening over here in nifty, more or less it is sideways. There is no trend happening in the market. Now, if I just show you the same chart, so let's say June 23, 18600 strike price call option. Now, do you see any difference? The first chart that we looked, it was more or less sideways. If you look at this chart, it is clearly telling you the theta. It's it's doing its job and it is killing the premium. It is killing out the premium. Okay. So it is decaying the premium basically. So that is the reason most of people prefer strategies like short straddles and strangles. So now what is a straddle? Straddle is, a, you know, a strategy wherein you are going ahead and selling call option and put option of the strange strike price. What is a short straddle? Simple, I'm expecting the market to consolidate. So I'm going ahead and writing at the money call. I'm writing, I'm going ahead and writing at the money put option. Why I'm doing that? If the market remains over there where it is, the theta DK is what I will benefit from. So where I can analyze my short straddle. So if I just go to architect, okay. You can select a predefined strategy as well. So let's say Nifty. He traders Quantsap has simplified option trading analytics for you. Click the link in the description box below, complete your sign up process and access the most advanced option analytical tools in the entire industry. Thank you. Okay, and uh, let's say oscillate and short straddle. So it will select uh, ATM call and put. So as today was the expiry date, so I'm changing it to 8 June expiry, the next weekly expiry. So this is how a short straddle will look. Now, the more market consolidates, more better it would be. But the problem with this strategy is undefined losses. Both the legs are exposed to unknown losses. Okay. That means your loss can keep on going, increasing, increasing, increasing. Okay. So wherein there is no such cap ki itna hi loss hoga. This strategy will have unknown losses when you are creating this. So that is the reason I would say whenever you are creating something like straddles, uh, short straddles, short strangles, I would say that keep those strategies uh, intraday if you are getting started because that will avoid a lot of gap up and gap down risks that you are facing in the market. And trust me, 
market what it is right now at uh, 18500 the next day if the market opens at uh, 18385 uh, and let's say the another day market goes to 18300 and so on and so forth let's say if the market goes to 18000 from here in one week's time which is fairly possible right or if the market goes uh, to 18800 which is again possible so that starts to create big problem for you right so that is the reason most of the traders as well, they keep these strategies intraday. And if you are getting started, I would say that intraday is something wherein it, these strategies would be relatively safer. I am not saying that they will be completely risk-free, but they will be relatively safer. Uh, when will the theta start to decay very, very fast? When you are very close to the expiry. So these type of strategies work good when the theta is decaying at a faster pace. How you can identify that? Simple, more closer you are to the expiry, more faster theta will take it. Okay. So closer to the expiry is when uh, the good time of this strategy will be, wherein it will start paying you off uh, well because of the theta speed. Another point is when the IVs are relatively higher because you will get more premiums to write over there. Now coming to one more interesting analytic what you can use on top of this is, so let me just take you to chart. Chart order and rate. So now the simple thing is if you are in the range of your break events, then you are protected. Then that, that means your strategy is good to go. So what you can do is so let's say nifty. One day. And just use this indicator, which is ATR, average true range, which is uh, nothing but a very simple indicator in last 14 days days how much average movement there has been in the market so it is trying to tell you that there has been 150 points roughly or 146 points to be precise movement happening in the market so now if you feel that this strategy can protect you by 146 points or you know even more than that then i would say that is a fair enough strategy right so if i just want to see tomorrow's break even so now it is try it is protecting you by approximately what uh 18400 to 18600 almost almost 200 points so if you feel that okay the average movements in the past are 150 points and the strategy that you are trying to create is it is protecting you by 200 points then you know that would be good enough elsewhere you know you can try to uh, shift this legs a bit wider you can try to convert the strategy into a strangle so do access architect tool from the link in the description box below and analyze your strategies like a pro and only thing you need to do is just sign up and you can access the architect tool in the application 